So what I want to do today is... Now the reason I want to do this is because it's an excellent little camera in here. Much better than the iPhone which I'm using now. So if I have this mountable on a tripod then I can use it as a steady cam it just makes the drone more versatile so don't tell the missus <laughs> I'm gonna cut a hole in the Mavic <laughs> There's a couple of things I want to talk about on screen today and this is by way of experiment. First of all, dead cat, a little bit windy out here so hopefully that will keep some wind noise out of this sound recording. I'm doing sound recording on the phone because the DJI itself doesn't record sound not easy using this as one hand for the drone and the other hand for the phone. Let's see if I can get the focus right. Not too bad I suppose. Go for a walk. Hope the wind isn't too bad in the in the phone. Seems to be working alright. One thing I have noticed and I don't care, I think it's funny. Is people looking at me funny. Like car driving past, passenger and driver staring at me. The man with the bucket of water looking at me funny. Anyway, who cares? I've got a job to do. Now, on count on the screen here this is looking good uh, so it might be might be a success this old uh, tripod thingy I'll turn around and go back the other way now now one thing I've just decided is that this uh, two-handed operation is not very good I am actually going to probably put the phone on top of the Mavic with, uh, with Velcro or something and go one-handed operation or at least give myself that extra option so I'll get this vision home and look at it on the computer and then make a verdict but I think it's pretty good so far. A little bit of zoom in so you can see the gorilla pod I've put underneath. So there you have it, a DIY tripod for a Mavic Pro with built-in knot held in place by Aerolite and I think the video quality uh, speaks for itself. That's the Osmo in full frame and the DJI Mavic Pro in inset. Works pretty good. 